Life is a journey. We are all legends. We are all living legends. And we are living legacies. We are part of each other's legacy. As we stand here right now in front of these pyramids, we can't help but to acknowledge the fact that life is precious. And this life is a journey. Everything is a process and you have to trust yourself in the process. Let's take a journey. Let's walk outside of this compound. And let's say that we are going to the bank. It's you and I. And we don't know where we're going. All we know is that we want to arrive at the bank. We walk up to the first friendly face that we see and we say, excuse me, can you show me to the bank? And we say it in Arabic, but we know only enough just to get us to the first juncture of where we want to go. So this first person says, well, you go to the right. But they continue on with directions and we don't know enough of the language to continue as far as they take us to the bank, but we know enough to say, I'll go to the right. So we go to the right and we go so far to the juncture that they tell us about, only to the point where we know just enough so that we can ask the next friendly face, excuse me, can you show me to the bank? And they give us directions just for enough to go to the next juncture. This is important because many times we don't know the full gamut. We don't know the full route that we have to take to go to where we ultimately want to go. We know just enough. And what we need to do is trust ourselves in this process. Every single thing that we have in our life are building blocks to take us to another level. Many times people, because they don't understand where they're going, they don't know how they're going to get there, they stop in the middle of the process. Now, let's say that we're still on our journey to the bank and we stop never arriving to the bank. Is it fair to say that we stopped because we didn't understand the language? There was a language barrier? No. That's not enough to stop you. Is it enough to stop because you look down and you say, wait a minute, I have sand in my shoes. But you know you want to get to the bank. No, you don't stop. You keep going. You understand that these are things that come up in your life that happen as you're on your journey pursuing to that, that which it is that you are set out to go forth. So you continue on and before you know anything, you're standing right in front of the bank and you walk up to a guard and you say, excuse me, unknowingly to you, that is the bank. You say, can you show me where the bank is? And he smiles, take a step back and say, you have arrived. Many times we do that to ourselves, to our own destinations, because we feel like, I don't know how to get there. I don't know the directions. Where is it? Is it left? Is it right? Where do I go? Who do I have to go with me? We have people that will go with us all the time, but you cannot get there if you keep your mouth shut. You have to open up your mouth. You have to ask. Surround yourself with people who have an idea of where it is that you're trying to go. There are people that come into our lives every single day. You have to be conscious of it because if you're not, they'll slip away. I don't care if you are nine. I don't care if you are 99. Life is but a flicker. These pyramids that we see behind us have been here for ages. They were here before us. They will be here after us. And guess what? It's a legend. It's a legacy. We are legacies. And one thing that I want to leave with you is that no matter where you're headed, no matter where you're going, start where you are and trust yourself in the process. Thank you.